Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our uh, special meeting set for Monday, June 28, 2021, at 4 p.m. Uh, Ms. Clark, good afternoon. You can follow up with us. Yep, Mayor Lowry. Here. Councilman Grimm. Here. Councilman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nokowski. Here. Councilman Cobb is absent. Councilman Rodel is absent. Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Five members present. Yeah, tonight's invitation will be by Councilman Graham. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be together. We thank you for this wonderful city we live in. Thank you for the incredible people that we've witnessed our friends and neighbors. I ask that you be with this body as we discuss the business of the city. So we'll do the best we can for our residents. Welcome to the city of Florida, the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the Republic of the United States of America. Thank you for the New reports nine resolutions ordinance is done. Other business uh, discussion on American Rescue Plan funds potential expenditures. And I will hand it over to Mr. Howard Pitko, our service director. All right. Good evening, members of council, members of the public, and who will be watching YouTube later. Uh, Ms. Harris and I um, have some information uh, after we had met with uh, Mr. Bridge um, for the funds that will be coming to the city of New Kralau as part of the um, American Rescue Plan. The anticipated uh, amounts, and I, I believe um, about $545,000-ish uh, for 2021, which could be, we're not sure when they're gonna be deposited. Uh, many other cities have not even gotten their funds either. So that's an estimated amount. And then in 2022, about a year after the first deposit will be another 545000 So those aren't hardcore figures, but they're very close from what the uh, state had said that is supposed to come our way. Um, so we're just waiting. I know Ms. Harris has been looking and seeing when, when those will eventually get deposited. And then the funds will need to be used up by 2024. December 31st, 2024. Yep, so they'll all have to be used up by then. So with the first part of the plan, um, there, there's some guidelines. I'm not sure if anybody has looked at them, but with the, the big uh, focus is infrastructure, uh, employee assistance, broadband, um, public health safety, um, budget loss, you know, things that we may have had that we budgeted but we couldn't get because of uh, reduced revenues that we did not get in the city. So those are some of the items, and obviously with broadband we have that we have high-speed internet with throughout the whole city. Um, one of the ideas that I had uh, brought to Mr. Bridges' um, attention that while well, we had gotten one done last, this uh, beginning of 2021 um, was, and we've discussed this a couple times, is the primary and secondary clarifiers. We do have four. One is brand new now. One is out of service currently. And two are as old that we have talked about before as the other uh, one that's down. So I had uh, gotten some estimates just because this is what we're, you know, we're doing is discussing the possible expenditures of about 160000 a apiece, um, which would total about 480000 uh, to get all three. If it, if it would work out, let's say we take this uh, away for a portion of this first phase of uh, funds, that typically there might be $5,000 for mobilization on each time they come to a clarifier. I may save possibility of $10,000 because the other two won't be done separate. They'll all be all three be done at the same time. So that could potentially go down to maybe 460, but I just don't know, you know, without taking it out for bid. And I kind of got as far as I could go without any more commitment, you know, until we actually get funding. So that was our primary uh, focus. And the idea of that was the current rates that are in um, enacted right now by ordinance or some general maintenance and repair that we have in there. But uh, if we were to take a look at redoing these clarifiers um, on their own, so $500,000, you have some engineering in there, 
um, that would be about, let, let's say we did a rate increase for one year just to do this project, it'd be about $3.88 per 1,000 gallons <coughs> for one year for every customer. So just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what it would cost if we had to go, if we, there was no money coming to, our, to us. You said three what? Uh, approximately three dollars and eighty-eight cents per one thousand gallons for one year. Right now, the wastewater budget's about a million, so you need five hundred thousand. It's fifty percent of your current rate. So, almost like twenty-two bucks per thousand. Mm -hmm. And then um, some possibilities looking into the future. Uh, it's just far as from my end where. Um, and it wouldn't be as, a, as an expensive project, but doing some mainline valve replacement in 2022, 2023 for the water lines in the old section only. Everything else has uh, been exercised and works well. We've been trying to uh, exercise the old section, and right now we have four broken, one already replaced, and three are getting put in in the middle of July. We have some valve insertions uh, being done. So to give you an idea of why I thought about this as a portion of the second uh, phase is each valve insertion we're doing averages between five and $6,000. The valve itself is about $800. So it's, it's just a, a labor intent, well not labor intensive, it's um, uh, expertise. They gotta bring this machine in and tap the main live. We're just not able to do that and not worth us getting that type of machine to do that. So then once we get some valves put in, we're able to shut our own system down and do our own valve replacements where you just chop the pipe out, put a valve in and tie it in. So that was an option. And then we also have um, lead goosenecks in the old section of town. So we have ductile and cast iron pipe in the old section that has a lead gooseneck and then it goes to galvanize. Um, we do not have full blown lead services. However, the EPA is very aware that we have those and I'm not sure if you're following, but the federal guidelines are getting ready to come down that potentially, if there is a lead issue at one of these houses, that they will mandate the city, as they always do, to change the line and change the service line if there's any lead in the service line to the property owner. So we're kind of trying to cut that off at the pass. Um, but those are the three things coming from the infrastructure portion of uh, uh, water and sewer. And then in the infrastructure portion of the American Rescue Plan is water, sewer, broadband as, as the the three main focal areas. Um, do you have anything, I think, on top of what we were looking at? Uh, no, those were the main, the main items that we wanted to talk about as, as our suggestion for a good use of the money that's coming in to, uh, to help keep the cost down for going out for loans or more debt, which is higher rates for usage that we were excited about the money and there's still available pools that have lots of time to talk about um, those were our two main we wanted to bring, bring to your attention. so over two years we'll be getting better than a million dollars yes cool. and the second round of money is like i said a year out we're just giving you some preliminary estimates there could be a whole new stipulation come out but ideas um, from council and ideas from staff that we can kick around. But what you've been talking about will eat up most of that, right? Uh, the, the first portion, yes. The second portion, no. I believe I'm probably, um, pricing is a little tough. I'm probably right around the 150, maybe 200 of the second portion of it. So that leaves the second portion much more open to other that's, items. That's the three clarifiers. The three clarifiers would be the first half of the money, uh, the soon, the, the early expenditure. But the water uh, treatment stuff would be uh, down the road and not as, ex as expensive. But that could come out of the second. Yes, yes. Yeah, because we can't raise water bills $3. We're already getting flack over the last increase. That's, to me, that's off the table. But that, that, uh, First go around and cover that, I, I'd be all for that. And then we can discuss the second go around. It's, it seems to be a wise way to get our infrastructure up to date. 
Do we have any? Um, I know we've talked about water wells, in fact, you know, updating our well sites and whatnot. Mm -hmm. would, would that be any? Would it be worth investing any into that? Just out of curiosity. Um, this may may look at some land, but um, there's some stuff going on that we're trying to look at if we can move our wells far enough away, or we need to secure our wells better than what we got. But it's still in the works. This just isn't much okay. to go towards it. Okay. Well, and we have to expend it, and we wouldn't be ready to do all the new work within a couple years. Okay. You talk about lead goosenecks. Do you have any idea how many of those are around? We have about, uh, I think, from Church to Clay, from Lake to Jefferson, I want to say we have like 200 to 250. We've already removed some as we have. So all those, those cutouts you see on Church Street, the long ones going across, those are ones we've removed. Not by, um, because they had a service line leak, and when it's galvanized, it's just not worth patching. So just take it back, we cut it out, and we do it. So we've already probably done 15 in the last couple, you know, less than five years. So it's, there's probably up there. I know we're over 150 of them, would be my guess. Now we do not have any lead issues at this point. We, you know, our lead and copper come back um, fine in that area, um, so that that's not a hazard at this point. Um, we do use an agent not for the purpose of lead, but as a purpose of corrosion control. And with corrosion control, it 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 keeps lead um, lead properties inside the uh, pipe. They don't uh, break away. That's what gives us this extra time to be able to work on getting getting these out. I'm done. Okay. Um, I know they're not here. Is there anything that, that would be beneficial? Maybe what's left over after the second um, the second um, round of money that, that the fire department or fire fire or police would need out of this. I think they've been discussing. We had started working on the the chief's needs. Um, he, he's vocal about needing to try to be competitive. Um, the, there is a little bit of the money that can be for the premium pay for essential workers, but we have to find a way of sustaining it. So increasing it, their hourly rate, and then finding a way to make sure that the budget will keep <coughs> it up there is what we're working on. Um, so it wouldn't probably be on this first round, but it sh it's in the works to see what Randy, you know, needs to meet with the chief and, and, and uh, get that defined, but that's been the talk yeah. of me. I was thinking, you know, more equipment, but they've been talking about payroll, and that's, that's a, you know, that's a, um, yeah, I just didn't know if they had any uh, expensive equipment that they needed to work back that, you know, we don't know about anything. I think they're talking about some of their air packs, too, so if there's conversation of it, um, also, so there, okay. there's a lot of needs that, that this money is just going it's, to, it's a wonderful asset to have to worry about how to spend properly. Right. Just getting that money is going to help the city however it's done it. All right. Anything else? Yeah, it's a million dollars that will go far, but not far enough. Right. Right. So. All right. Well, I guess, uh, you guys have any questions? You know we passed that far? Right. We'll just keep digging in, you know, and then as, uh, you know, if there's no objections to kind of focusing on those clarifiers down at wastewater for this beginning phase, um, I'll pass that on to Mr. Bridge if there's anything different. Um, maybe you, you communicate that, you know, we'll at another time, but um, yeah, we'll proceed as kind of what we got some ideas and start kicking around new ones for the uh, future. Okay, great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Colleen. If you guys don't have anything else, we would need a motion to excuse two council members. Okay. Motion, we'll do them one at a time. A motion to excuse Mr. Rodewald. Rodewald. Motion by Mr. Groom, second by Pinder. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Nilkowski. No. Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. And Councilman Eggleston? Yes. I move the excuse, Mr. Cobb. Uh -huh.
Motion by Mr. Grimm, second by Mr. Vice. Mayor Larry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Nowakowski. Yes. And Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Okay. Six to five zero two. And then a the third guy. Motion by Mr. Grimm. Second. Second by Ms. Eggleston. All right, Councilman Nowakowski. Yes. Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Council next. Yeah. Motion to adjourn accepted.